This is so annoying. So before I get started today, I just wanted to show you guys this. This, um, I don't know if you can see this or not. But this uh, happened yesterday before I was getting ready to start doing my videos, which is why I ended up not doing videos. <clears throat> can you guys see that? Okay. So yeah, Twilight Zone. Yesterday I'm going downstairs to get a cup, a freaking cup, and the whole top shelf of the file cabinet falls down on my face. So I'm getting pelted in the face with books and whatever else is in there. And yeah, this is what happened. So, then I thought, what could be the positive in that is showing special effects makeup. So here we go. So as you can see in this part, I have no makeup on, but you always have to have a story about your special effects makeup. So first thing I have Elf, the red lip liner. I'm gonna be using the blood coagulated by Miran. I have a bruise makeup palette by Michael Lee. I got that from Amazon. All of this makeup I got from Amazon. A stipple sponge. And Kryolan's Collodion. We actually called it Rigid Collodion. Now what I like about the Rigid Collodion is it actually draws your skin in. So whatever I do to my face once I brush that over. And this uh, Kryolan is so amazing because you could do up to 10 coatings of that. For this, I only did one. And then I think I did one more, so two total. And my uh, wound drew in so quickly. So right now I'm using the e.l.f. lip liner. And I'm just kind of making like... A, a thin grid on my face and I used red because red makes your wounds look more fresh so see I just drew that on there then I'm gonna take my bruise makeup palette and I'm gonna use between the red and the darker red just to pat it on over it so the red first and remember now the red actually intensifies it if you want your wounds to look old you use a dark red or um, black or blue underneath. And then when you put the blood on, it looks like old blood. So this is just going to make it look more fresh. So that's that before the rigid collodion. And I just love this because if you're in a hurry, you're going to a party and you don't have time to do all the fancy stuff, that collodion will just set everything off and you're good to go and it lasts for hours. Now the way to remove it really quick before I forget is use some sort of oil and I just saturate it like with olive oil or coconut oil, baby oil even, and then you just go and wipe it off with a rag or wet paper towel so see it's already starting to draw it in now what you could do to even intensify it a little more is add a little blood to it and then do the rigid collodion over that oh you could do old scars with this you could draw lines with your lip liner and then do the rigid collodion and it, it makes it look like surgery scars, like slice scars. So now I'm going to do my bruise, bruising around my eyes. I'm doing yellow first. And unfortunately, I already have dark circles, so it's kind of easy to make my eyes look bruised. Now next time, because I am going to be doing another special effects makeup uh, video, 
I ordered the third degree makeup so I'm gonna be playing around making the scars look thicker you know the skin more elevated this is my favorite time of the year besides Christmas and I used to teach this at a school that I worked at in my freshman class and I mean they would just have a ball I love to see the students get creative with me showing them something so simple so see that darkness under my eyes is really natural but I'm placing a little bit of blue I did yellow first and then blue now with the blue you want to be light because it's so powerful it can overpower your bruising but you always want to have a little bit of blue in there to intensify it. So I'm using blue, I'm using red and burgundy, yellow, and a little bit of green. And you know how your bruising goes through phases? So it starts off like really dark blue and reddish. And then you start seeing the yellow and the green in it. Almost like a rainbow when you get bruised. So I'm just applying until I feel like the bruising looks realistic or I don't want to overdo it. And honestly, I could have brushed a little bit of rigid collodion on the edge where my cheek is. Uh, and that's another thing while I'm on that subject. Never put rigid collodion on your eyelids or around your eyes, please. It will burn horribly. adding a little green to it and then I'm going to place a little blue on the outer edges and red over it to kind of calm it down a little bit dabbing a little bit on my other eye that far down but I'm trying to make it where it doesn't look like a perfect bruise these bruises are not perfect and that's the fun thing about it too it's not perfect and there you go so I'm gonna do a little scratching like a little grid on my forehead because remember the file cabinet fell down on my face and remember the red intensifies it I'm putting a little bit on my lip some bruising there on my lip before I apply the rigid collodion which is gonna draw it in and I'm using the dark red or burgundy as they call it and I'm just kind of dabbing over that grid so it looks like scratches so 
Now I'm putting some rigid collodion on my lip where the bruise makeup is. And oh my God, you could just feel it shrieking, shrinking in, not shrieking, almost immediately. It's awesome. And then when you peel it off, it looks like scabs. So that's even more fun. <laughs> I'm brushing some rigid collodion over the bruising on my forehead. Put a little bit more bruising on top. But it's not as intense as I want it to be. Still looks bad, but not as bad. Put some blood and rigid collodion over it to make it more intense. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I did. God bless you guys. And I will see you next time when I do my virgin bleach video. Bye, guys. Ow. Oof.